How is it going everyone laser here and today I'll show you how to connect the front IO fans and RGB on Be Quiet 500FX. Let's begin. When you first open the 500FX back panel you'll be greeted with a confusing mess of cables that can be a bit overwhelming at first. So let me explain which cable does what to make it a bit easier. The first cable you see connects the front USB port. The second one with three connectors is for the RGB. The third one is a SATA power cable that powers the hub same as you use with SSDs. Next one is the USB cable connecting the front to USB-C. Next we have the HD audio which as the name suggests connects the front audio ports. Now the most gruesome of them all is the power switch connector which is just a nightmare to find on the motherboard and connect. Lastly we've got the fan connector which controls the speed and powers all the fans inside. Now that we know what we're dealing with let's begin with connecting them one by one. By the way just to be clear you should do this only after everything else is connected including the motherboard and the power supply. Let's start with the one that's easy just as easy easy as subscribing to the channel, the SATA power cable. All you need to do is find the SATA power cable from your PSU and connect it to the case SATA power cable. That's it. Next we have the RGB connector, the one with three pin sockets. You need to find a RGB controller on your motherboard and connect it there. Depending on your motherboard manufacturer and model you can have one or multiple ARGB connectors. This is how it looks like and where it can be found on the MSI Z790 Pro for Intel CPUs. Next let's connect the fan controller. Same as before all you need to do is find the fan header on your motherboard and connect the fan hub connector to it. This will allow you to control the case's fans using BIOS or dedicated software. If you want to control some of the fans independently from the rest, use the other fan headers on your motherboard. Now we're going to connect the USB and USB-C headers. Standard USB is pretty simple, you just connect the header to the motherboard. USB-C is also very easy, just make sure your board supports internal USB-C connectors. Some cheaper boards might not have that. If you have doubts, always refer to the manual. Next step is connecting the case audio. Just find the audio header on your motherboard and connect it. Finally, the most challenging task is finding and connecting the power switch. As usual, find where it is in your motherboard manual and connect the pins with the header. This will allow you to power the PC with the power button on your case, so it's pretty crucial to make it right. And that's it. After you've done, you can just power on the case and decide if you want to control the RGB with the built-in switch, which has some cool settings predefined, or if you want to sync the case with the rest of the RGB, like GPU or RAM, in this case you just press the RGB button and hold it for a couple of seconds until the RGB switches to external control just like you can see on the screen right now. If you're curious about my opinion about Be Quiet 500FX just check out the review and if you found this video helpful consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more helpful content like this. Thank you so much for watching I'm Laser and I'll see you soon.